Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you all the luxury items which I've sold and the reasons to why I've sold them. So let's get started. Starting off with item number one, um, that's my Chanel Tweed Medium Flat Bag from the 2018 Pre-Fall Collection. Now this bag was really popular because Jenny from Blackpink was seen carrying it in one of the Chanel shows. And when I got the bag, I really loved the way the bag looks. And I think Tweed is something that's very iconic from Chanel. However, every time I brought the bag out, I find myself babying the bag and I had to be extra careful to make sure that the Tweed doesn't get damaged or stain because tweed is fabric and once it's dirty, it's very hard to clean it. So I eventually sold this bag, but I was very happy to have it in my collection during the time that I did. The second item that I've sold is the Chanel Classic CC Crave Flap. If you've watched my previous Chanel bag collection video, you would probably have guessed it. Now this bag, I really love the color combination. I really love the burgundy and the rutinium hardware. The size of the bag is slightly larger than the medium classic flap and even though I really love the way it looks, it's very fuss free and carefree because of the crumpled leather, I always found myself reaching out for my medium classic flap when I was going out. I wasn't getting that much use of it. I'm also being a lot more conscious of what I have in my collection now and I'm trying to streamline the bags that I have. But if you're looking at buying a classic flap where prices are crazy these days, this model from the 2013 collection may not be a bad option because it's really affordable, it's fabric lined on the inside and the price is probably a third of the Chanel classic flap that you get in the market today. I'm really happy that it's gone to an owner who really loves the bag. The third item which I've sold is my Amaze scarf. So I used to have a silk 90 by 90 centimeters Amaze scarf and I bought this scarf eight years ago. It was my very first item that I had from Amaze and I was really drawn to the colors of pink and orange. You know, orange is a very iconic Amaze color. I felt that it was very feminine and dainty, but I really wasn't getting that much wear out of it. There are a few reasons for this. Number one, if you follow me for a while, you would know that pink and orange isn't really my color. I find that it's a little bit too feminine and it doesn't really suit my skin tone. Number two, I find that silk scarves are more formal and dressy and there weren't that many occasions that I could put on this scarf. And the third reason is I find that the 90 by 90 centimeters size is a little bit too small for my liking. What I really like is the Hermes cashmere scarves and the 140 by 140. I use those scarves a lot more. I just prefer the cashmere and silk material. It's much warmer and softer. So just to show you, this is the 140 by 140 Hermes scarf that I have. I have two of them and I find them to be so versatile. They work well for both the summer months and for the spring and autumn seasons. The fourth item which I've sold is my Manolo Blahnik Pumps. These are classic Manolo Blahniks. Honestly, they're so, so comfortable and they look beautiful on their feet. I wore them a lot to work and to wedding parties and events. And the one that I bought was the navy satin heel, which was 5 centimeters, I believe. The height was perfect. I got a lot of wear out of it. However, I felt that over time, the satin started to tear and it was very hard to maintain the shoes. I would really have to baby the shoes to make sure that the satin doesn't tear off completely. When I brought it back to Manolo Blanix to ask whether they could repair it, they said that satin is a very delicate material. The Manolo Blanix sales associate from Harrods recommended me a few options, but the price to mend these shoes were really expensive and I felt that they weren't worth it. So I eventually managed to sell the shoes after wearing it for a couple of years. I really love the way Manolo Bunnik shoes look and I think that they are the prettiest, most comfortable shoes but it's very hard to upkeep them. And for many of my shoes, I've been wearing them for 10, 12, 15 years and even though yes, there's wear and tear but at least the shoes are still in good condition. The next item which I've sold is the Celine box bag in burgundy and this is the version from Phoebe Fido's time. For the longest time, this was my dream bag. It's the bag that I've always wanted because I just really love the shade of burgundy from Celine. I feel like that's the perfect burgundy shade 
and it's just so classic and understated. When I bought it, I already had the classic Celine box bag in gold skin, which is the one in blue. And even though I love the color of burgundy, I wasn't using it that much because the box leather scratches very easily and once it gets really scratched, the resale value drops significantly. And I found myself reaching out for the gold skin blue bag that I have from Celine. And eventually after having it for a couple of months, I decided to sell the bag before there were more scratches. I do miss it sometimes, but given that I don't wear it that much, I felt that it wasn't very practical for me to continue keeping it in my wardrobe. The next item which I've sold is the Moina Gabby in the GM size. So if you've been following me for a while, you would know that I absolutely love the brand Moina and I love, love, love my Gabby. So the one that I have is in the PM size. I first bought the GM size in 2017 because when they first launched the Gabby, that was the only size that they had it in, which is 30 centimeters at the base. And I just love the silhouette of the Gabby. I feel that it gives a very casual, chic vibe. And I way prefer the Gabby over the Gabrielle. It was perfect for traveling or in quarter months when I could sling it over my coat, but I find that it was hard for me to bring it to more casual events because the bag would get very heavy. So when they launched the PM size, I sold off my Gabby GM and I then purchased the PM version. The next item which I sold is from Menzo Gravel. Now this is not really a luxury brand, but it's more of a modern contemporary brand. It was really popular a couple of years ago when their bucket bags were all the rage and I decided to buy the lady bag in black with the red lining inside. I use this bag almost every single day for work and I really like how the vegetable tan leather ages as you use the bag. Even though there are minor scratches on the bag, it looks beautiful, it, it grows well with the bag. I eventually decided to sell it because I needed to bring my laptop to and fro every day and I preferred something which allows me for easy access like a tote bag. So I found that the Mansell Gravel was not that convenient because I would have to lift up the flap, pull the drawstring, stuff my laptop in and it was a little bit clumsy. And because I eventually bought the Moynat Gabby, the silhouette is kind of similar to the Manso Gravel and I decided to let that go in my collection. The very last item is this pair of Aquazura shoes. I really love the way that it looks. I think it looks very chic with a pair of jeans and you know the tie details of the shoes just adds a little bit of interest. I eventually decided to sell it again because I wasn't wearing it that much. I would probably wear it maybe once every two months and I'm quite strict to myself in the sense that everything in my wardrobe, when I look at cost per wear, it has to make sense. And the moment that I'm not getting enough use out of it, I tend to sell it away to someone who may use it a lot more than I do. So yeah, these are all the luxury items that I've sold. Let me know down in the comments below if you've sold any items in your collection. I would love to hear why you've sold them. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Take care and have a great week ahead. Goodbye.